Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing an open invite thrift flip challenge for March 2020. And this is hosted by Thrift Queen Joan. All right, so all she wants you to do is uh, spend no more than $10 to do a thrift flip. So I didn't have to spend any money at all because I have my product already here. So I'm so happy I didn't have to go look for anything. Um, and I said what a good way to start off is by starting in your home first to see what you need to be fixed up, painted or whatever. So guess what guys, I did a thrift flip because I was going to about to throw this thing in the trash. You know the thing that usually sits right next to me while I'm filming? That big brown ugly thing? Well I did a, th a flip on that and it's gorgeous. I can't wait for you guys to see how it turned out so if you want to see my video please stay tuned also don't forget to look in my description there is a big playlist there for you to watch all the other lovely people that did their thrift flips all right so if you want to see mine stay tuned also don't forget subscribe hit your bell notification <laughs> of course to let you know when i've um, uploaded a video and don't forget to give me a big thumbs up all right guys so this is going to be the piece that i'm going to be thrifting all right so we're going to be doing this thrift flip so i'm just going to throw this out this is the piece that you see in the back when i'm doing my videos you'll see this in the background it's just look at it it's old it needs to be in the trash or it's time to do a thrift flip so that's what we're doing today we're doing a thrift flip guys so yes a thrift flip it's very old and it's just time to get rid of it or do something with it so I decide, because I do want to get something new, so I decide, let me do something with it first. And if I still don't like it, then I'll get something new. But for right now, we're just going to see what we can do with it. This is what it looks like there. She's missing a handle. And when you come in the back, I heard nothing wrong with the back. Okay. Got some scratches there, as you guys can see. So, I'm going to have to throw some paint thinner on her. Get some of that off of there. And then sand her down for a little bit. And we're going to take those drawers out. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to just paint them or decoupage them. So, we shall see at the end what we're going to do. So, if you want to see this lip flip, guys, please stay tuned. <music>
right, guys. So this is what she looks like after the second coat. All right. Okay, we're going to be decolletizing the dresser drawers in the front. So we're going to use this cloth right here. I love this fabric. Very pretty silver fabric. If you can see the pattern. I have a glue that's going to make the fabric stick. So we're going to use the Mod Podge to make this fabric stick. All right. So we're just going to lay this oh, the fabric over the whole dresser. I mean over the whole drawer. And in the cavity. That part, that's where we're going to have this fabric. We're going to cut the rest out off once it dries, all right? So that's what we're going to do right now. So now that this is dry, I'm going to use this right here to cut the rest of the fabric off. All right, guys, so here she is. She's finally done. What do you guys think about the decoupage that I did? This is my first time doing that type of uh, 
I guess painting or I don't know what they call that type of art, um, craft, but I did decolletage. I changed out the handles, gave it some knobs, gave it a fresh coat of white paint. And I absolutely love how it turned out. It looks better, way better than when I first had it. That drabby looking brown dresser in the back of me when I'm doing my videos. Now that I have something nice and bright and I just cannot wait and beautiful guys. So hopefully you guys like this. Mm -hmm.